Welcome back, everybody. Craig here with Funding Freedom U, and it is July already, and I'm here with some budgeting tips to add to your July budget. So if it's already locked in and in place, maybe you can go back and add some things in that you may have overlooked. Or if you haven't gotten around to at doing your July budget yet, this is the perfect time, and these are some things you want to include as you're looking ahead at this month. Now, before we jump into these ideas, I want to give you a free financial freedom roadmap. This is your step-by-step -step guide out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle. If you're sick and tired of being frustrated when it comes to money, grab this roadmap. It will show you exactly what to do to take that weight off your shoulders. All right, guys, so July is here, and summertime, if you haven't figured it out yet, can get pretty expensive. So with this month, you already know if you're here in the States with me that we have July 4th, Independence Day coming up. And it's a popular day to be getting together with family and friends. We're off, most of us are off work at least. We are grilling, we're drinking, we're just having a good time with people we enjoy being around. So just be careful and mindful of that. Plan ahead, what are you planning on doing? What expenses could that include? What do you need to buy? Food, drinks, all of those things. If you're hosting an event, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Or if you're just gonna to go to one, you know, just again, bear that in mind and think about what you plan on doing. The second thing to really keep an eye out for this month, which is a recurring thing in the summer months, but lawn care and pest control. The bugs are out, at least here in Texas, and so if you're seeing an influx of spiders coming in the house or just mosquitoes, flies outside, making sure we are budgeting for those things. Grass is growing like crazy, so we are having to mow more often. So if you're paying someone to do it, budget that. If you're doing it yourself, you have to remember things like gasoline for the mower, um, string for your weed eater, all of those things, maybe some lawnmower maintenance, just Keep those in the back of your mind looking into July. The cost is probably going to be a little bit higher. And then speaking of those bugs, bug spray and sunscreen. We're outside more, so those things can add up. And if you're adding that to your grocery budget, it's not cheap, right? Sunscreen, for some reason, just is pretty expensive. And if you're buying it, if you have a big family, it's going to add to that grocery total. Now, if you've got kids, they're home for the summer, which means they may be going to some summer camps. So if you're sending them off for a week or for day camps or whatever the plan is, add that into your budget. Your child care costs are typically going to be more in the summertime because especially if both, if everyone, all the adults in your family are working full time, kids got to go somewhere, right? So add that into the budget. Any deposits you may have to put down for upcoming camps. Think about those things. What are the kids going to do and how are you going to fund it? And if they're staying home, well, then that costs a little bit more too, doesn't it? All right. Looking into July, you may be heading out on vacation. Now, um, I have a video where I give you some ways to save on your road trip. So just click up here on the link and you can watch that video, three ways to save on those road trips. But vacations can add up, not just the lodging and the sightseeing, but food while you're gone and the trip and the travel and just all those things plus expenses at home, which is commonly overlooked. If you have pets, who are you going to have to board them? Are you going to have a pet sitter? Um, what's the plan with those? Do you have to pay someone? Do you get a house sitter? Um, thinking about all of those things before you head out on that vacation. And then finally, if you're not traveling but you have people coming to see you, you may not think about it, but we tend to spend more when we have guests. If you have a, a family member coming for the week, we want to take them out, right? Show them some sights. Uh, the grocery bill is going to be a little bit higher. We tend to want to go out to eat more when we have a house guest. So keep those things in mind as you're looking ahead. If you're going to be doing a deep clean of the house and bedding and all that stuff, those are all costs to think about when somebody's coming in. I can guarantee that I missed something. So if you can think of an expense that I didn't include in this video, please drop it in the comments box below. Otherwise guys, happy budgeting. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to see you in future videos as they come out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.